Hello student. In last class we have studied about human skeleton in which we have studied axial skeletal system and appendicular skeletal system. Today we will start new topic and that is joints. So joints are the place of articulation between two or more bones or between a bones and a muscle. And joint has a movement of body. Or we can say in movement of body parts. Now we will study types of joints. In our body, there are various types of joints are present. in which three type of joints are important in our body in which first joint named as fixed or immovable or fibrous joint as its name is fixed or immovable joint means in this type of joint, movement is absent between bones. And why movement is absent between bone? Because there is no space between So movement is absent between bones. And the attached bones are tightly held with the help of white fibrous connective tissue. So it is also called as fibrous joint. That's why it is also called as fibrous joint. Now example of this type of joint. So this type of joint present in joints of skull bones. And we have studied about skull bones. They are 8 in number and they collectively form a box like structure which is called as radium. So in skull bones fibrous joint or immovable joint is present in which movement between bone is absent. Now second type of joints are slightly movable or cartilaginous joints. So in this type of joint, little movement present between bones. And bones are attached with the help of cartilage. So it is also called as cartilaginous joint. An example of this kind of joint. This kind of joint present between bones of vertebrae and pelvic girdle. So between so in vertebral column between vertebrae a little movement is allowed by this type of joint which is called as slightly movable or cartilaginous joint. Now third type of joint is called as movable joint or synovial joint.
has been get, getting by this uh, by its name that in this type of joint a uh, movement is present between bones so it is a joint which allows the movement of articulating bones such that they can move extensively upon each other in this kind of joint space present between bones and in this space a fluid is present which is called as synovial fluid and a space called as synovial cavity in this synovial cavity a fluid is present which is called as synovial fluid and this synovial fluid help bones uh, to reduce friction between bones now movable or synovial joints are of different types in which first type of movable joint is ball and socket joint in ball and socket joint one bone forms a ball like head that fits into a socket formed in the other bone so one bone which having ball like head fits into us uh, fits into other bone which having socket and because of this the bone with head can move nearly in all the direction example of ball and socket joint pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle now next kind of movable joint is hinge joint in this kind of joint this joint allows movement in one plane only it means bone can move only in one plane it cannot move in other plane or opposite plane so this kind of joint present between present in elbow joint or new or and knee joint next type of movable joint is pivot joint this joint allows rotatory movement of one bone on the other stationary bone so in pivot joint the joint allows rotatory movement of one bone on the other stationary or stable bone and this kind of joint present in neck region between first and second vertebrae which are called as atlas and axis vertebrae
in which atlas is a movable bone and axis is a stable bone and rotatory movement present in atlas vertebrae which which rotate on stable vertebrae axis now third kind of movable joint is angular joint angular joint also called as ellipsoid joint or condyloid joint in this kind of joint this joint allows movement in two direction in which movement is occurred side to side and back and forth and this kind of joint present in wrist and ankle so this kind of joint present between wrist joint and ankle joint now last type of movable joint is gliding joint as we getting by name gliding joint means sliding joint it is also called as sliding joint and this joint permits sliding movement of two bones over each other example of gliding joint is carpal in wrist and tarsus in ankle so it is all about joint now in next lecture we will study about muscle bone relation and movement in animals